Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, in this video we will focus on uh, building the deck. As you can see where this man is walking, that man is not me by the way. And I assume that won't take us very long. And maybe we can do is right after that tackle uh, setting up some of the preparation that we might need to do to do the columns underneath the, uh, the deck and that could be a tricky part so that could take a bit more time depending on um, how much I need to explain as I go on but um, if you follow this tutorial up to this point thank you for watching all those videos uh, you should have something similar to what I have on my screen so basically we set up a um, list of basic templates uh, basic parameters basic components that will be reused multiple times which you can see here you can actually group that uh, if it makes any easier to read uh, after that we have the I beats uh, which will support our deck. We'll probably use a lot of these uh, the components here or the end component I would assume that one to uh, build our own deck. The outer helix is the major helix, the blue one uh, you see on the left and the red one will be the inner helix which is the minor helix. Okay that's it for intro so let's start uh, building our deck Okay, let's see, what do we have? We know we will need this. These are the blue beams. So we're gonna take that, copy that component over. Um, what else do we need? Mm. Ah, actually we can use this to uh, build the horizontal tubing, or just the horizontal tube that goes along each end of uh, our bridge. Or each side of our bridge so we need that maybe we can start with that so what we can do uh, we can just extract endpoints from this and just build an interpolated curve or two interpolated curve actually uh, we can actually entwine this first otherwise we have to uh, use two interpolated components which is it's actually doable but uh, depends uh, what you want to do actually but what you can also do is just entwine these and therefore you get uh, two trees two branches each with their uh, own item so then if you plug this in you also get two curves two interpolated curves uh, it's basically the same if you just skip this entirely and just do this instead you get two curves uh, out of that also so it really doesn't matter how you do it uh, in terms of components, we don't save a lot. In terms of computational power, we don't really save a lot since the whole script is already quite heavy. But anyway, um, the, doesn't matter which uh, which method you choose, as long as you understand the logic behind it, you can build this uh, in any way you wanted to. After that, we have not tubing. Uh, we need the diameter of the tube. Because uh, I believe it's the same diameter as the helices themselves. Uh, that's actually um, so I'm a bit of an OCD person, so slightly. Let's make that a bit more organized. Uh, this is the one we need. Diameter of the tube. So let's drag it all the way here, and then we can just say uh, pipe. Since we have the diameter, we must uh, divide it by 2 to get the radius. Uh, we can just say uh, round cap, just to make it neater. Plug the curve in, and there we have it. There is our horizontal tubing, or the horizontal helix, as I would like to call it. Mm, actually, if I look closely, it might be slightly off position. Uh, let me see. Because it should be in the middle of all the other helices. 
uh, let's have a look at our initial point at least actually uh, initial curve oh that's not right how can I check this I want to see if it's on the same plane because I know that we moved our or well, actually it does look it's in the middle of it so I think that's fine well unless we notice otherwise we can always move it down move it up or move it back to the position or where it should be so that's not a really huge issue that we have to tackle right now but uh, what we can do now is actually give it a nice color so that it is rendered also nicely uh, note that I'm using the rendered viewport so we just get this one in gonna set the same color should I give it the same color no probably shouldn't slightly something like that okay uh, that's it for the horizontal now we can actually move on to the deck <laughs> itself um, let me see what how can we build a, the deck uh, we probably need to use this I think we have to find the deck width here somewhere number of feet is six uh, here the deck width is six meters so we need to make that parameter mm, is that parameter going to be used somewhere else in the script probably not uh, I can't imagine some where they would use six meters but could be so let's make the parameter instead and uh, go from there if it doesn't get used then it's fine then it's a parameter serving only one purpose we'll just call it deck width and we can actually use the same sort of building logic go if you drag it remember if you drag it you usually get the black arrow but if you uh, press once on alt you will actually um, do the same thing except for the component you're you're attaching it to will take the name of whatever component it's coming from so you can see this turns into deck width if I do the same for the other one that also turned into deck width so I can finally take this component copy that and come here okay mm -hmm. what are the ways that we can go about this uh, 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 let's see all we can do is start by having a middle point perhaps from this one and then start uh, expanding out that could work so we're gonna do a CRV evaluation uh, from these I beams uh, we're gonna reparameterize it and select the middle point um, in here we are going to run a interpolated line so we can have the middle line now you may argue that we can actually uh, set this up here which is possible but it, it makes no sense for us to do that because this has to be separated actually and we don't uh, we're not going to run this through a pipe command you can actually uh, connect it here and then reselect it back but that's just way too complex for what we're going to use this for so we're just going to do it separately it's going to be used once anyway and we're going to use an offset offset of curve from here um, and let's see what else input we're going to use uh, for sure we're going to use the distance we're going to use two of those one in the negative direction and one in the positive the plane is default xy which is good corners uh, we don't really have any corners since it's round until we explore maybe uh, in a future video where we can have a zigzag uh, helix bridge that might be interesting to see how that goes but uh, that's for a future video I, th I think so let's do um, 
Let's do a number first because what we can do. Uh, oh, even though this is a number. Mm, all right, okay. Let's do a negative because we do know we need two numbers for the distance. And let's just plug them all in the merge. So we can say the first number goes to the merge. Uh, actually, we need to x divided by 2, which gives us 3. Okay. And 3 goes into a negative negate value. It used to be called negate, I think. Now it's just called negative. Okay. And we can plug that in. In the end, what we get is a number 3 and a negative number 3, and we can put that in the distance, and then we have two numbers, uh, which is going to be used for the distance for our offset curves. And now what we can do um, is actually do, uh, we can actually do loft instead. Oh, we do have to flatten these together. Oh, we have a deck. And uh, now we just need to give it some volume. So what we're going to do is extrude it upwards using the extrude command. And it needs a direction, which obviously is going to be the Z direction, which is up. Uh, defaults to 1 meter, which is way too much. And let's see. I don't think we have a value for the uh, uh, the height of the deck. No, it's not here. Well, we can just say it's the same as the diameter of the tube, but that wouldn't make a lot of sense, so let's not do that. Let's just actually create one instead and just say this is... Uh, I don't know, 0 0.2 meters, and then we're just gonna call this deck um, thickness actually, and I can go up to here, and we can use this one as another copy for the deck. Um, Something more like light-ish gray would fit this uh, a lot better. My shadow, am I? Oh, that's nice. Um, okay. Until this one is alright, except maybe what we can do is extend the deck slightly so that it uh, passes through the last, the first and the last beam. You know, um, so we can actually see a bit more better. Um, ah, okay. Let's extend the initial curve by s ever so slightly so that it passes through, uh, so that it actually goes over through the first beam or and the last beam. I think this is the line. So what we can do is just say extend the curve. Uh, obviously, curves goes to curve. T is how you want to extend it. Uh, you want to extend the line, or you want to extend it according to first move, so we, as you average it. Uh, in our case, we can extend it in a line. Uh, I mean, in an arc, because it is an arc. Um, how much to extend? Uh, let's say between 0 0.5 and 3 meters, I guess. Uh, deck. Extension is what we're going to call this parameter. It's probably not going to be used anywhere else. It's just going to put it here instead. And that goes to the start and the finish and the, la and the end, uh, how you want to extend it. So I can plug that into here. Get that away. So now we can have it extended by whatever amount we choose here. Let's just say one meter. Something like that to start with. We can change it whatever we want. So it's not a big deal. And that's it. That's how we made the deck and the horizontal tube that goes along to our um, bridge, the full length of our bridge. Uh, looking at the time, I uh, didn't know they would take this long already. Um, I suggest I stop this video here. 
uh, could be a good break for you to like not follow through those lengthy videos just a short one um, last thing we can do before we stop this video is actually just give it one of these names we have uh, one tip though um, you might notice uh, if you copy and paste the component will just stay where they are and if you want to copy something from here and then you're gonna paste it it's gonna be there and you have to drag it all the way to here so other trick what you can do is uh, you do the normal control Z uh, V ah, control C for copy and just stand somewhere near your script and then you do control shift V and what that does is it paste the copy component in the middle of where you are looking at which can make it easier for you to select it and we're just gonna call this uh, deck slash horizontal beams like that okay we'll save that and in the next video we will be tackling the columns uh, finally so uh, see you in the next one